How does Christmas help us have sensitive conversations with our kids about bodies, babies, puberty, sexuality, relationships, the whole shebang? And welcome back to Sitting in a Car. We have the Christmas episode today. Here is the Christmas tree made of corks that a lovely, lovely friend of mine gave me made by her brother, Tony. Thank you, Tony. So how does Christmas help us have sensitive conversations with our kids? Well, look at this Christmas tree. Is this a Christmas tree that looks like every other bog standard Christmas tree? No, it is not. It's made of corks. So this Christmas tree represents Tony's individuality and Marie's ability to drink wine and champagne because these corks were personally drunk by a friend of mine, Marie. Um, so this Christmas tree represents Tony and Marie. In the same way, we can start having sensitive conversations with our kids that represent us, represent our own unique journey, our own unique life experience, our own unique country or family of where we were brought up. For example, if you were born in Ireland, you will have a particular experience of a culture. And often times in Ireland, it will be a culture um, that was influenced by Catholicism and the Catholic attitude to sexuality, which is very much around sex, sex is for creating new humans. And that will have impacted our ability to think about sexuality in a particular way. So you can tell that story to your kids. You can say, well, it's Christmas. Um, Ireland is great for Christmas. We do turkey, we do ham. But you know what else is really interesting about Ireland? Is that when we were brought up, when I was a kid, we, we were taught that Sex was mainly for having babies. And what we know now is that sex and sexuality is about feeling good about ourselves, feeling close to a person or people that we love. It is also about making babies, but it's so much more than that. And so when we're talking about Christmas, we can hook in what an Irish Christmas is like and what growing up in Ireland taught us about sexuality and how what we know now to be true is different to them. And that's Sitting in a Car, the Christmas edition of Sitting in a Car for Another Week, where I've helped you understand that we can all tell our own personal stories about sexuality, sex and relationships um, in the same way we can each have Christmas in our own super individual way. Bye for now.